Now, there's a there's a boxing match on Saturday. Tank Davis and um, Frank Martin. Are you familiar with Frank Martin? Yeah, I've seen a little bit. Um... Now, this is gonna be Frank Martin is is uh, eighteen and zero, twelve knockouts. Tank is a one punch hitter. I'd. I, this is me. I think this is a really good fight. I think Frank Martin's a really good fighter. Yeah. Tank Tank has that like power, him. huh? You like Frank Martin? He's a really good fighter. I like. I mean, obviously, T- Tank has that huge power, that yeah. one shot power. You know, this is definitely. I mean, I guess Tank is out, out, out on early release <laughs> from whatever he's done recently. He's always in the midst of some other bullshit. So Baltimore. He probably. He he probably has his ankle monitor off of him now. I'm obviously yeah, I'm being sarcastic. Shit, you know he's be, I mean he's be, he's freaking assaulted his freaking girlfriend on freaking video. So it's like, <laughs> you know, I wish the guy would stay out of trouble because he's little a man. He, little man, huh? Little man syndrome. Yeah, what's he like five four something like that? It just, it um, just for no reason. Just yeah, no. Nah, Nonstop, but that fight's on Saturday, and on that card is David Benavidez. Um, this is this is a PVC card. He is fighting Alexander. I'm not even trying. Alexander, another Alexander. He must be from Ukraine, also. Alexander Gavad Gavazdik. You know, th- this is a Benavides is the guy that we all want to see fight Canelo, but Canelo seemingly doesn't want any parts of David Benavides. Um, have you seen David Benavides fight? No, I ain't seen. No, I haven't. I haven't seen. Him. That's good. He, he's a beast. He, he's a beast. And you give Canelo a run. I think he would beat Canelo. I think he beats Canelo. So Can- Canelo on his Mayweather shit. Yeah, I mean, of course he does. He's been doing that. He's been doing that for a minute now. He's you been doing that Mayweather shit where he strategically picks fights. Like, there's a reason he hasn't fought Bivol again because Bivol wants to fight him at um. At 68, he wants to fight him at his weight too. I believe that's what I what I had read is that he wants to fight Canelo at his weight because he already beat him at 75. He wants to beat him on his own weight. So, um, nonetheless, yeah, he's been strategically picking fights and all that shit. And Benavides is a guy that he's been avoiding. Like he's fighting Charlo and uh, you know who he destroyed and who was his last fight? The one he just had. Another Mex- he fought that Mexican kid. Another one that it was like that was a good. It was a tough kid, but that's not the fight that we want to see. We want to see yeah. you fight Benavides. Stop fighting everybody else, but the guy that we want you want to see you fight. I hate I hate when these guys do this. This is why, at least with the UFC, boxing is terrible. Boxing, you know, because of that shit. Like nobody fights who we want to see them fight because they got to build their brand. or saying well, I'm undefeated, and I, and I did that rather than going through the the hard road because nowadays you lose a match for the most part people talk so much crap about you and it, it defeats you and you gotta go on Instagram you gotta see the knockout or the, or the loss and, and I guess it affects the bottom line which is the money because you're not as hot but if you if you know how to sell a fight you're gonna sell a fight no matter what yeah. so that's that's all we got for Combat Corner I mean these are fights this you know you have this fight this weekend and then next week you have that a Whitaker fight in the weekend after you have a UFC 303. Thank you for watching. Come on now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up to the minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.